We're back on Hatton Garden to look at the Old Mitre, which is a tucked away pub, one of the most famous pubs, as it's always mentioned on the list of pubs to visit or to seek out for historical interest when you look online concerning the public houses of London. Now, we have been here before, but we're going to take a closer look and we're going to walk through and see Ely Place. So come here with me, please, come on. Once again, I'll refer to the door where it claims that it was established in 1546, would be just at the end of King Henry VIII's reign. Straight away, it's easy to see why it's listed as one of the most optically pleasing and uh, historically relevant pubs. If you're a tourist, you can see immediately why it's so beautiful to the eye. Have one little look at the pub before we just roll on and have a quick look at Ely Place. Now, the street we're about to walk out onto is a reminder of what London used to look like and should look like. And bear in mind, you're in a particularly wealthy area at the minute, so don't forget that when observing the, uh, the range of properties and vehicles out here. That's what London should look like, shouldn't it? That's what it should look like. Obviously, take away the modern cars, but I've said many times that if villages and all sorts of places aren't even allowed cable, television cables, because it might ruin the historical culture of the place, why is it we let London turn into some sort of Lego metropolis? But anyway, let's go into the pub and check it out. Oh, it's very cosy in here. That's it. This tree here is said to be a maple which Queen Elizabeth I danced around. Which is why she was so fond of this one. Who Patton was supposed to have been you know, having an affair with her. Whether that's true or not, we don't know. The allegations that that was a maypole used by Elizabeth I. It's a very small public house in here. So that's brilliant. To all of the, the numerous tourists that turn up here, quite often you see them walk in and walk straight out because they don't realise how small the rooms in this pub actually are. Now, despite being here before, I will once again tell you why this is called the Mitre. The Mitre refers to a bishop's hat. That's what a Mitre is. This land was once owned by the Bishop of Ely. So how did it wind up in the hands of Christopher Hatton? Well, Christopher Hatton was alleged to be a lover, or at least very close friend, of Elizabeth I. Obviously, this pub claims to have been founded under the reign of her father. So her sister and her brother were reigning before her, but eventually it would be her turn, and Elizabeth I became the reigning monarch and had men which were always after her, and some she would entertain but would never go the full distance with because she wanted to maintain her, her female power. One of those men was Christopher Hatton. Now, the Bishop of Ely didn't take kindly to this, and he said no. Therefore, Elizabeth, causing trouble with the church over her love like again, like, like her father, she said she would strip him of his titles. So the land was given to Christopher Hatton, which is why we now have Hatton Garden. And it's clear to see that the, it, throughout history that the church element of the pub was maintained, thus it's called the Mitre. And just before I ask Al about this, I have to point out that for me it's a huge case of irony because this time 
unlike her father, she was at loggerheads with the church who were the C of E over her love life, whilst her father was at loggerheads with the Vatican over his love life. So it, it seems that the Tudors had a very turbulent way of, of carrying out their love lives concerning the, the church. Mm. Wouldn't you agree? Quite, sir. Uh, when it comes to psychosocial conditioning of the population, both the monarchy and the church would collaborate with each other, not only in English history, but throughout all of European and Western civilizational history. The church and the monarchy were always either at odds with each other, but in general they tended to collaborate with each other due to the necessity of, you know, controlling, conditioning uh, the population to be subservient, docile and obedient. So when there is a conundrum between the influence networks of the church and the monarchy, this here pub represents exactly that. Uh, the willingness of the monarchy to, in a fairly communistic fashion, strip the church or a church land owner of his property and land for the sake of, the, for the sake of the alleged lover of the queen. In addition to the historical um, gravity of the location, when it is not particularly packed, it is a particularly cozy and private domain, which is very pleasant to visit. I personally have had a Revelation beer with dark hops, and it's quite pleasant. You should visit it whenever opportunity and leisure permit. That is all. Till next time.